Okay, so we have this, 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 and this. Let's say we're going to have a guy from standing up to bend over. There's a key for standing up. Let's go ahead and just go two frames over and create the bent over pose. Just take these guys, rotate them forward, and then do this. All right. Now, I have another video that is about uh, how to counter rotate for balance. I'm not going to worry about that right this second, but the, the idea still works. Um, so this guy, let's just say we're going to do this a little bit more, like so. Okay, so there's our guy. He's, he's there and he's there. Works fine. The problem is there's no overlap. There's no sense of weight inside of how he moves. So what you need to do here is you need to create that, that one where it's part away and then part away. Okay, the base is more like number two or the, the, the pose that's coming, whereas the things farther away from the base are more like the preceding shape. All right, so the preceding shape, of course, is straight up and down. The second shape is bent over. Well, that's a terrible line color now, isn't it? Second shape is bent over. So in between the two here, on our breakdown, we need something. I'm just going to set a key where now we can kind of figure we want the base more like the second one. I can do this in a graph editor uh, if it's easier for you to understand, but I, I prefer working visually because it's like drawing. Okay, So we won't rotate that more like that one, and then I'm just going to check and make sure that I'm not uh, going too far there, that I give myself just a little bit of room to move still. So one, two, and then three the hips are just finishing up the last little bit of their move on three, but they do most of their work by two. Okay, And then this guy kind of starts splitting back towards the towards the the previous one. But this one is a lot more like the previous one. And this one, since it's the head, well, I mean, a lot of times I don't mess with the head as part of the ex spine extension, like I work with the head on top of it, but in this instance we'll just go ahead and drag the head back even more. See that? Now, it's the same concept, what we just did before, it's it's you know nothing nothing different than what we did with the, the tail, it's just now we're doing it with a spine. It's a half and half. The bottom, the, the part closer to the base of the move at the breakdown is more like number two and the top is more like number one. Okay? That works going forward, and it will work going back. Let's go ahead and take all these things and come over here, and then one, two, we'll set a key. So he's going to bend over, and now he's going to bend back. Well, let's work it on the way back, too. Set a key. Our, our initial, our starting point, is like this. And our end point is, of course, like this. So in between, we want to create that sort of S shape. So I'm going to take this guy and going to move him back so he's more like number two in this instance, the, the, the pose that's coming. And I'm just going to check and make sure that, you know, he's still got, he doesn't hit and stop. He goes most of the way and then has a little bit. And you don't want to go past it and come back because that, that's cruddy. Um, so what you really want, if you do this rotate X here, let me hide this stuff for a second. This is what you want to see. Where it comes... And the breakdown, it's most of the way done, but it still has a little bit left to go. That's what you want, all right? Now I'll take this guy, and he's starting to kind of split the difference. Let me turn on my guides again. So he's kind of coming back here. And then this guy is much more like the first one, the one that's before it. And again, the head, just because we're going to drag the head because he's a drunk, uh, we're going to do this. And maybe this guy right here, we can pull it up a little bit and a little bit more. In a little bit more. All right. So this is the shape that we've created, where the the base is more like number two, but the head is more like number one. Okay. Number one being the pose that we came from, and number two being the pose that we're going to. This breakdown, the stuff that's closer to the base of the movement, whatever's leading the movement, is going to be more like number two. The stuff that's farther away from the base is going to be more like number one. All right. And look at that. You have drag on the way down and drag on the way up.
It's pretty simple. Dragging the way down, dragging the way up. That gives you so much weight. How do you combine overlap with this? Just like we did with the tail, all right? Except you just do it on a spine, but you do it on a much smaller level, okay? Because a spine, you generally aren't going to overlap a ton. But it's the idea, okay? Pretty simple stuff. Forward and back. Uh, that's it. I hope that helps. Um, and again, this stuff cleans up real easy. I mean, you just take a look at take a look at these curves. I mean, there, there's nothing to them. All the all the stuff that you need is right there. So if we take all this and he bends forward, and we take all this and he bends back. You know, I'm just throwing in betweens in there now. You see that? That's perfect. Weight both ways. Of course, it hits pretty hard right here because we're not, you know, I'm actually kind of violating my one rule here where, um, you know, I kind of, I don't want the head to kind of snap back. And right there, it kind of comes below. So what I'll probably do is just adjust a little bit back so it doesn't feel like it's snapping quite so bad. But that's not a difficult thing to, to work out. Take this guy, come right there, come back, there. That's it. That's all I needed to do to smooth that out. There you go. Don't really need to do anything else. Uh, it, after that, it's just a matter of cleanup. I mean, here we go. A couple of bonus minutes here. Take all this business and you know, you can use the clamp splines if you want, uh, or, you know, start and end could be flat. And let's see. Yeah, that works. Tons of weight, everything you need. And the thing is, if you had combined the two of them together, like on a move like this, notice it's the same thing. There's your extreme, there's your extreme. If you if you combine them together, it's like you solve one with the next one with the one before. It's it's uh it's like magic. It's magical. Alrighty, hopefully that helps. Uh, I know that if somebody had sat down and showed this to me um, in 1994, um, I would have certainly been much farther along than where I am today. Uh, but this is where we're at, and I hope it helps you if you're struggling with body mechanics and how to show weight in the spine and how to handle overlap in the spine or handle overlap on anything. Again, that whole tail box thing, it works on anything. Uh, that concept of extreme, extreme, and then a breakdown that goes between the two. That was a pretty crappy drawing. Don't pay attention to that. All right. Hope that helps. All the best. God bless.